Told me in the other room? Yeah, so I was just looking for something like this to go over my bikini or bathing suit. And how much did yours cost that you said? It was four hundred and forty six dollars. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy well, it. Well, yeah. But that's but that's but the thing. Insane. These are yeah, and they're and they're expensive and they're beautiful and they're kind of making a major, major comeback. I was watching um, a guilty pleasure of mine, don't judge, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, obsessed. And um, they were in Dubai on this. They were and they were wearing these amazing caftans. Um, I think we... You have a clip from the show, so let's take a look at your inspiration for this project. I come bearing gifts. This one is Did you? yours. <gasps> oh, oh, wow. Thank yes, you yes, yes, so yes, yes. much. I think I have to put it on right now. Much better. Oh, let's yeah. have a look. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. how you get yeah. it Wow. wow, those are beautiful. Aren't they though? They're really glamorous and you just sort of float. They're they're absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna we're gonna make them today and they're very easy. I right, do wanna we... have a moment with you about your guilty pleasure. We'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah, later. Uh, we need to talk. But anyway, go on. Yeah, thank How you. do we get started? <laughs> okay, so um, the first thing I want to go through a little bit is a, a graphic here because this is gonna make it a little easier when we go into the pre-tape, which is actually me constructing it. So first thing you're gonna do is take your fabric there. That's your fabric straight, you know, none not folded at all. Next you're gonna fold it in half half directly just like that so now you fold it your fold is on the top and it's open on the sides okay okay next up I'm with you so next up I decided I wanted mine about 35 inches wide how did you decide that so what I did is I put my arms out and I measured from my elbow across to my elbow and that was about the length that I wanted so I cut mine at 35 inches so you just cut off that excess Okay. okay, so next up we cut off the excess there. Our fabric is still folded in half at the top. Next you're gonna cut a little circle, that's your neck hole. So it's in the folded fabric, so a half circle when it fully opens will be a full circle. Okay, okay. next up you're going to sew down your sides. Now you wanna leave 12 inches open and that's for our armhole. Okay. So everything okay. you sew down on the sides will create your side seams. All right. Okay, so that is um, essentially the pattern. Okay. It's That's that simple. Very simple. That's wow. simple. Okay. So let's take a look at a little bit of what we did earlier today, and I'll, okay. and I'll show you. So these are our materials. You need pens, a measuring tape, scissors, and your fabric. Next up, you're going to take your fabric, fold it in half, just like the picture. So there we go. I've got my fold right on top. Now, I measured it, and I was originally planning on 35. But yep. when I measured my fabric all the way across, I realized that if I was willing to go just a couple inches less, I could make two. So oh, wow. I went just a few inches less, folded it in half, and cut it. That way, now I actually have two. Now you can't have more hot dogs. Now there's no more hot yeah, dogs to be no. had. Exactly. So, so now you're going to pin pin it just so it's nice and straight. I cut it in half um, and discarded the, the other one just because I only need one for now. I'll be able to make my second one later. So now what you're going to do is fold that in half again so that when we can create our little neck hole that we talked about. Sure. By folding it in half, I instantly center it perfectly, so that's why I did that. So see, there's our little hole, our sides are open, our fold is on the top. Now I measure down, um, pin my armhole at 12 inches and sew that side down. So I'm going to go through and pin it. You can pin it on the dress form or on the yep. floor, whatever's easier for you. And then you get to your sewing machine. And go all the way down the side. Yep, okay. and you're going to go down the side. So I'm leaving that top part open because yeah. again, that's our armhole. So you leave that open and just sew right down the side. Move on to the to the other side and do that one as well. La di da di da, so 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 so. Okay, so there's our armhole opening. Yeah. Now I also hemmed my arm sleeve. This is something that you can do if you are proficient in sewing. If you're not, leave the raw edge and don't worry about it. That's kind of a design choice up to you. I decided to sew my armhole and, and hem it. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about this next piece when we come out of the pre-tape. Um, these things, the one I'm wearing, this one, these are appliques. So can you see that really close? This is a separate piece. This whole thing is one piece wow. that I just pinned down. Um, here, it's I'll like a pick. necklace almost. Yeah, yeah. there are beads on, on nylon. Yeah. The, yeah. So when you go to the fabric store, look for the appliques, and this is going to bring, it's going to look like it was custom beaded, but really it's just a neck applique, and it prevents you from needing to sew this whole front closed because it's all right on here. So in order to do that, you're going to pin it up in the top corners so that you have it basically centered right at your shoulder. Pin it, and then pin repeated. You can see how many I did. You really don't want this to move at all. So pin it all the way around. And next, you're going to take 
your needle and thread. Now I started on this side, so I'm gonna work my way down. The easiest way to do it is put your hand in through that sleeve so you have a, a backing there. Uh -huh. And then you're just gonna go like this and create okay. those big loose stitches. So you go up, down, yeah. up. Rachel, what was the material down, of the up. one that you looked at? Was it blousey-ish or whatever? It was that was similar it, was to it? this. I'm like really bad with material, so I couldn't tell you, but it was similar to this. Like it was airy and see-through. I mean, it, it was literally a piece of fabric. So you really want this material to be flowy, is that right? Yes, absolutely. So burlap wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> no, no, okay. but, no. But you also suggest, from what I read when uh, this morning, was that not to use an expensive material like a silk. Well, a silk is okay, to begin but a silk with. chiffon, if you're a fairly beginner, um, with, with sewing, I wouldn't recommend you using silk chiffon because the way that material is, when you cut it, it sort of opens up and stretches. And next thing you know, one side's longer than the uh, other. Sure. It's really, really expert sewers. <clears throat> so look for a silk chiffon, look for 100% rayon. This is 100% cotton. Mm -hmm. Something that's thick enough that it's not gonna twist and turn on you, sure. just if you're a beginner. Because right. it's such a simple pattern that you should take advantage of it, right. um, but yeah. just don't make your life harder. Right. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll basically stitch down. You'll go down through the center, across, and through the outer edges of the beading. Next, you're gonna cut this netting off because we want to fake the appearance that this was um, beaded directly onto yeah. it the same way that, you know, the expensive $400 ones are. So you just come through here and you're just gonna cut all this netting off and it will appear as though it's been beaded. It does. And then there's one other step, um, which I want to show you. The reason that we didn't actually, see, Mm -hmm. See on that side, see how different it looks right there? Yeah. You can't see that netting at all. So you yeah. would do that. Now, the last thing that you're gonna do is right here. We don't want this fabric here. Yeah. No, so, it doesn't look nice. Go like this and yeah. feel for your center <laughs> and just cut down. Oops. Okay. Huh. You know. And you're gonna take all, you're gonna scoop all that out. Exactly. Right, right, right. So, now, once this is cut as well, this netting, you would follow that netting. For right now, I'll leave it because we haven't cut yeah, that this, yet. Yeah. Can I ask you a quick question? Please. Do you have to sew when you're sewing this on this side and this side? So this side is. Does that make sense? So this. Side Say that one more time. Down. Like when you're sewing the applique on, are you just going up around the top, or are you going whole around thing? The side. Okay. Okay. So you'll start in one place, reinforce your top a lot, stitch, come through here, reinforce, and come back through here. Okay. That way, once everything is cut, all the netting is cut off. This can't, not going you know, anywhere. move anywhere. Right. Okay. For those of us who are not very proficient in sewing. Yeah. Can we use that fabric glue? Yes. Yeah. You can use fabric really? glue. Really? Yeah, you can. Not for the um not for these side seams. Yeah. You don't have to be proficient the again because it's two side seams. Sure. But for the applique, the only thing okay. I would recommend is watch where you're applying it because you don't want any of it to get in that netting because you're cutting that off. All right. So just make sure that you hide all that glue underneath mm -hmm. and put like a book uh, uh, in between the front and the back of the dress so you don't get the right. blue. Rachel's was $4.50, what was yours? Uh, $50 for okay. the fabric and the neck piece.